It's time to do a load of towels in the new temporary washing machine. You're probably judging by the title and saying, what on earth is Brandon doing one of these? Yes, let's see how this machine works. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. So here is the machine guys. Yes, Hoover Nextra. Uh, I think it's one of the basic models, but it's a model HNL3146. Um, a plus AA energy saving system, 6 kilogram load and a 1400 RPM spin. It's pretty interesting cycles here. You've got a variable temperature option up to 90 degrees, or 85 actually I believe it hits. A spin speed up to 1400. Um, but we've got some odd spin speeds on there, look you've got 750 there, 1150 and 1250. You've got only four options, um, pre-wash, Time saver, that's good for reducing time. Pure rinse is the, I think that's the equivalent of extra rinse and increases the rinse level by quite a bit, it does. And fast iron. Um, and you've got your countdown in stages. Unfortunately, not like the six, we haven't got the exact progress, but it tells us in increments of 30 minutes and whatnot. Is your compartment drawer? Yes, this uh, has got condition on it because it never took it in. Um, well, I didn't take it in, it's because I originally tried to run a wash and the machine had a bit of a problem. The temperature dial had actually been stuck around the wrong way on the machine, so it was pointing to the wrong temperature, so it didn't complete the cycle. Um, so I'm going to empty that out and we'll redo it. Or just top it up a little bit. That's our mat in there. So it has a different layout to the six, so we haven't got all those nooks and crannies, so hopefully it should take that in a bit better. Apart from that, that's the same and so is the assembly. Um, this machine dates to April 2004, so I believe that's when the Nextra were introduced, or were they introduced a few months earlier than that? I think, well, 2003, I think they might have started coming to play. But I remember these models, I do. Um, including the model with the silver chrome door, which was the Mega Load one. Well, that witch wash has got. I've seen these pop on British Heart Foundation a few times, mainly the HNL 6166 and 6146 I think. Um, this is a model I've never really heard of, so must be an early model. Um, it's like having a 6 kilo drum, it does feel like it's smaller than the 6 though. And this is a standard brush motor machine, no insulation like the 6 has, but it's got a CE set motor. Um, now temporary machine, I got this for free. Um, on Marketplace and only pay £38 for a courier. The courier being one of those tip-tap apps you get, um, which literally within an hour went and picked, someone picked it up and brought it back to me. And you only pay them when you received it rather than with Shipley where you have to do it all in cash. Um, this was the teaser photo I posted on Instagram of the side of the machine there. Now, Despite the fact these machines are exactly the same as the 6 range, pretty much, I think they, they're tweaked though, um, I wouldn't actually have one of these permanently in my collection because they are what I consider too new for my liking for Hoover. Um, many of those people know the 6 range is as new as I go for Hoover uh, for a collection machine and anything permanent. So you fortunately not be seeing any of these in my collection. Uh, this machine is also a cold for lonely, so it seems Hoover switched to cold for quite quickly because um, I assumed that these were hot and cold fill. However, if they did do a model with hot and cold fill, please correct me, I'm not too familiar on the Nextra range. I am aware, apparently, I believe they did do an Interact model, but it either wasn't available here or it was just never seen. Um, I saw it in an automatic washer.org um, thread. Anyway, we're going to test out the Cotton's 90 cycle with a pre-wash and pure rinse to get to do the full thing. See how the machine works and uh, yeah, eventually do some cycles and then sell the machine. Okay. The one thing I am surprised about is how little we can fit in this machine. There's a wash net here with a colour catcher in it. So I'm going to load what I can in. Um, there's a little bit extra in there. So unfortunately, I did get filming this yesterday, but I had to, the machine dial can be fitted the other way around. Normally, uh, washing machine dials have a D-shaft cam on it, which means you can only fit it one way. That's like, say, with Hotpoint 95s and whatnot, how you can only fit the dial onto it one way. 
but on these it seems you can put it two ways so this would have been pointing down here so when i was turning it to 90 it was actually only heating to 50 and i was thinking i know these machines are energy saving i thought do they do some sort of eco cycle but it doesn't state eco on it does it you know heat the water up to 50 and then maybe got to 90 because i know the cassata did that the wms do that but it was like an hour in and it, it wasn't even progressing onto an hour i thought something's wrong here i checked the ntc checked the heating element today turns out it was on the wrong way because i just happened to pull it off and put it back on i thought hang on a minute so yeah i don't know what the spin's like on this because unfortunately the machine didn't make it past the main wash so these towels are pretty much they're already wet uh, now i know i can fit all these in so even though it seems that's full to capacity oh i won't be adding any of those in will i no that's fine um if you can hear that i do believe the shock absorbers are on there are knackered on this machine so may look at trying to repair that anyway so <coughs> i'm going to put about oh i'm going to use about only i'm going to use some in here and then the rest in the free wash That's Almat Coconut Crush. And I guess, I guess I'll just add a tiny bit of the Almat So Soft uh, Lily Bloom and Lime Conditioner, just to top up that level. And that will do. Um, oh yeah, I'll stick some Oxyactive Stain Remover in there too. I love using this stuff because it works for whites and colours. I've already put a lime, I already use a Lime Scale tablet. Um, yeah, we add that as well. I have one of those. Okay. So to turn the machine on, just simply turn it to the program I want. No fancy lights really though. Um, temperature dial around to 90 and maximum speed 1400. I'll select the pre wash. Very loud um, motor that removes the mechanical alarm. I like the six pure rinse as well. Give that a go. So come up, flash door locked. Click. And go. Right. So let's see how this machine works. does have a load sensor in it as well. <coughs> yeah, so I'm tumble slightly now. Do lots of filling and tumbling. No. 
Rahim Sigi Samara Shock absorbers knocking a little. for the pre-wash, I don't know if we do an intermediate spin or not. Probably not, because I know the Hoover 6 doesn't. <coughs> oh, wait. turning the uh, water valve now. Yeah. So for main wash. So we do the normal tumbles first and this is I can see the smart meter from here so So we do the normal standard tumbles first. I'm eager to see what the spin's like on this. Because I'm not I'm not familiar too much with this range. I've seen a few videos here and there. That's cold. Very right. yeah. right, loud humming moat. It reminds me of the Aristotle Margarita that does that though. Because that too used to do that when it took off. Now it's 90 degrees, and we're doing the fast tumbles. Which, if you see, we don't do it on every tumble. Like some of the machine kicks up quite a bit of speed. You see almost distribution. the other day, I was just, you know, just showing some preview clips, making some preview clips of it, it was literally kicking the water so fast. Pretty good. That's the boiler for you in the background. Right, that's now reached 90 degrees Celsius. Oh. Be about 83, 85 down there. Thank you. 
Because you made more mess in the first place. So it's a very long mean wash. Go up a lot of suds. I mean the countdown display is not even showing that it's at an hour, so like I know it's like A rated wash, but you know. You see, put to the side, just how much that tub moves. Look. <coughs> that one of the cleanest towels ever, though. Right, shuttle rinse now. Cool down. I'm not sure what level we're doing. They're not bad. Oh, it's turning the bar, the fill bar. First intermediate spin. I wonder how fast it'll be. <coughs> Let's see how we do. Interesting. First loaded spin. I can only see. See that's balance load. There's a little pulse.
stable though. Very handy and slow. Yeah, it's a bit of a very surprised if this was the rinse level uh, first rinse but there was literally nothing in there <coughs> that's not a pure rinse <coughs> how long this main washer is I was like literally about an hour and a half there's got like no water no water Siemens Charlie when it was like that. <coughs> That's if, if it spins uh, it's not going to spin. That's his fourth attempt at balancing now. I know these have sensitive out of balance centers anyway, but
this thing at all. <coughs> Normally this copper kind of towel should be like six, which would, would be fine. Especially even like this size load, but... <coughs> Let's just had it there for a second. I mean, it's on balance anyway, but not as bad as it's showing. Bit of room in there, that's mm. humble, so. No. Oh no. I don't know what that's gonna do. That's gonna bang hard. I 
definitely will have to replace those shots before that's one more. Second runs. The final spin's gonna be a nightmare. The shots gonna be quite loud, I think. It'll be. No. 
bacana. Stable though, I mean the door, the front panel shakes a bit. Seems pretty stable. That's more lightweight than the six. What amazes is how it rinses with such little water. Even less than the six unit. Still saying it's not going to change to 30 minutes here. You know, this far into the cycle. Interesting.
Look how stable that is, though. Seven attempts. Thank you. 
Coming to the end of the cycle. So the final spin is all about.
expecting that. I was about to finish. Twelve hundred. Next up to 1400. Wow. Tents.
I prefer that spin to the way V6 are. Because V6 is more rush, but I can't like hold out the speed for longer. <coughs> and then drive the longer. Compensates for holding up like 1200 for three minutes and then only doing about like a minute or so at 1400. Okay, so this is the new temporary machine Hoover Nextra model HNL 3146, 1400 RPM, 6 kilogram load. Um, yes, I mean, definitely need to replace the shock absorbers. Um, I mean, as far as the spin wasn't too look bad. But I mean, if I just zoom in, you can just see if I push the back of the drum. That's how much movement is still present there. I think it's still moving. <coughs> but yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope to definitely got more cycles to do. Might do one of the synthetic cycles next, or uh, there's the Walmart 40 Sports 30 as well. A wash 59. Hmm. <coughs> so there we go. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. And yes, those who guessed who the next draw were right. So well done to you. I like doing this. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow. <laughs>